What is legalism? If you obey the Torah the best of your ability, once you have put your faith in the Messiah as your Savior, then you might be accused of being a legalist. Let's define the word and prove that obeying the Torah after salvation is not legalism. Legalism occurs whenever someone begins teaching that you are saved by a work found in the Torah. Legalism is a man-made, unbiblical false teaching. For example, let's look at the book of Galatians. In Galatians, Paul is rebuking a legalistic teaching that you first must be circumcised before you can be saved. This legalistic idea of circumcision being a way of salvation is not biblical. Galatians 3.11 Now that no one is saved by the Torah before Yahweh is evident, for the righteous man shall be saved by faith. Let's use a drawing as an example of legalism versus faith for salvation. Here is Jim. Jim in 2014 is unsaved and living in sin. But on January 2nd, 2015, Jim puts his faith in the Messiah. So according to the Bible, Jim is now saved by faith on January 2nd. Now once he became saved by faith, Jim starts reading the Bible and obeying Yahweh's word, which includes the instructions to get baptized by water, to obey your parents, to get rid of idols, abstaining from sexual sin, and so on. These are all instructions in the Torah after you become righteous by faith that teach you how to live as a believer. Now, a small sect of heretical Jews in the book of Galatia were saying this, you first need to get circumcised, then you're able to be saved by faith. They added a prerequisite of circumcision to be saved. That is legalism. This is never taught in the Bible, Old or New Testament. For example, everyone in the Torah was saved by faith. Genesis 15, 6. Then Abraham believed in Yahweh, and Yahweh reckoned it to him as righteousness. Today it's the same story, Ephesians 2, 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a free gift of Yahweh. Once you are saved by faith, you then want to start your walk with Yeshua and the Father by reading and obeying Yahweh's word, which begins with the Torah. So you might be asking this question, if you're already saved by faith, then what's the point of obeying Torah? The Torah has been, and always will be, guidelines and instructions on how to love. Deuteronomy 6.5 You shall love Yahweh your Elohim with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your might. Leviticus 19.18 You shall not take vengeance, nor bear any grudge against sons of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am Yahweh. 1 John 3.10 By this the children of Yahweh and the children of the devil are obvious. Anyone who does not practice Torah, practice love, is not of Yahweh. Obedience to Torah is the fruit of salvation, our walk in salvation, our practice of holiness in salvation. It's practicing righteousness. It's the evidence of our faith. Let's review real quick. First of all, you and everyone else on this planet since Adam and Eve has been saved by faith and faith alone. Second, the teaching that you must obey anything in the Torah for your salvation is called legalism. It's a false gospel. Third, obeying the Torah comes after salvation, and its purpose is to teach us how to love, how to act righteous, and how to live holy lives. I hope this video was clear and simple. Ask any questions you have in the comment section below. Thank you and Shalom.